let's face it, outside of the U.S., maybe a handful of other countries, it is a very conservative environment when you talk about supporting communication to patients. But it's something I think that industry must do. Government doesn't seem to do it at all or very well, very regularly. And now as we have chronic conditions and many chronic cancers, people on long-term therapies that are changing, evolving, I think it's really important for industry to step up to the plate and to really, in a digital age, look at who are all the players that you need to support not just the traditional advocacy groups, the patient opinion leaders, leading physicians who are communicating on Twitter and Facebook with patients, all changing rapidly. And you need to say, how can I be a strong community member? Because I'm a stakeholder. How can I do that in the appropriate way? And I will mention one thing. Typically, you put money, as you do patient communication, into some websites and other offerings under your control. But that is not typically what patients are looking for. They're looking for frequency of content that's changing rapidly, and it's not what you can do under your own control in your regula regulated environment. So my advice is to look for third parties that you can support that are having an active dialogue with a growing number of patients who are seeking information so they can take more responsibility for their care. If you do that, Everybody wins.